What's up, everyone? Who are you going to vote for? Yeah, I said it. Thinking, who's this guy going straight into that? It's a pretty sensitive subject these days. Who are you going to vote for? Who's this guy? Oh, I'm not talking about the election. Now, first off, listen, as Americans, yes, I do think it's very important that we exercise our right to vote. A lot of people fought and even died for that right to vote. And I encourage you guys, like, what a blessing that we live in a country where our voice counts. So number one, I think it's important that you do that when you vote in the election to make yourself heard. What I'm referring to today is Wakeboarding Magazine's Reader's Poll. Well over 20 years, I am very thankful to be involved in that and make the list. And that's a huge blessing to myself, uh, to my family. But here's the cool part is when I get to do this, I get to share things that I've learned in the sport, the how to's, take you guys on some amazing places that I get to go, uh, do some fun challenges. And that's what I encourage you guys to do. The reason that, that I like to share this content is to show you guys, it's not just going out there and getting your hardest tricks and you know doing these awesome hard maneuvers, but it's about having fun out on the water with your family, with your friends. I'm super thankful I continued to get to do this. I've been wakeboarding professionally for over 25 years competing for a long time. I no longer compete, uh, but I did do that for a long time. Hey, Sean Murray. Well, Sean's been on fire, especially after the South Carolina win. There's the 540, doing an awesome job, putting some stuff together, going for the wrap. He must be getting ready for that KGB. Got that same handle, two grips. Packed out there. This, Sean Murray, his first healthy performance of the entire summer. Had that injured contusion wrist, he wasn't riding up to his caliber. He took some time off. He went back to the lab. He's here in Detroit, and now he is just blowing it up. The thing about Sean Murray in this format is that Sean Murray goes off with style. He is much more of a free rider than most on this tour. He enjoys his time on the water. He's smooth like butter, and he goes huge. So yes, a long time, and I'm very thankful. I've, I've had so many fun opportunities, and I'm very thankful I even have the opportunity to ask you guys. So some categories that I've been nominated in are your favorite boat rider and content creator. So creating stuff here on YouTube is something I've really enjoyed doing, and I would love to continue to be able to do that. And either way, if you take the time, awesome. If not, if you're busy, no worries. But it would be awesome if you would take the time and vote for me in these categories or whoever strikes your fancy. Also, some other companies I'm involved with, stoked on Hyperlight. I've been with them for over 25 years. I've been with Nautique Boats for over 20 years. So if you want to pick them in those categories as well, that would be awesome. And don't forget to vote for OWC as your favorite park, obviously. Here's something that's kind of fun. Uh, pulled out some old wakeboarding magazines. I was like, I wonder if I can find a reader's poll real quick. Let's see. So there's an old ad. Spoon watches, who remembers that? Let's see. Portland, there's Brandon Johnson. Stefan Tran, how sick is that? What is that, a big old ass pen that he did? Yeah, Brandon Johnson. Here we go. Man, throwing it back. This is pretty sick. This was a wrapped Peat 5 that I did. Haven't done that in a long time. That trick is a wrapped Peat 5, is a sequence, but I stopped doing it because the rope would actually um, give me a rip down the side because of the grommets that were on the side of the handle. Um, and I, I only did like a few of them because it started to cut me. Maybe I should bring it back now that the handles have changed. <laughs> Rat P5, maybe. So that's cool. Reader's poll back in 1998. Here's one from 2011. This is a 2011 reader's poll, and I got second. That's cool. Wakeboarding Mag, thank you for even taking the time to put this on, and thank you for the readers taking the time to go out there and vote reading the content. I remember any time the new mag would hit the shelves, actually hit the mailbox, I was pumped to flip through it. And uh, you can still see the digital content they put together. So Wakeboarding Magazine, thank you. But I wanna thank you guys for not only taking the time to potentially vote, but also watching my content. Always appreciate it when you guys like and share because that goes a long way. And if you're here and you haven't already subscribed, maybe do that. And if you do that, also hit the notifications bell so that you know when content's hitting live and no matter what you're doing, always enjoy your ride. Peace. God bless America. Hey, my dad fought in Vietnam. He was in the army. Love you, dad.